don't think there's any other way of like Jeffrey's Bay. It's almost like an almondy barrel, but it's kind of like a open, it's like a really long, like down the line kind of barrel. So they're not easy to make, and when you do see see people make it, it's it's pretty spectacular, and you get to you get really excited to watch that kind of stuff. You know, what more could we want? It's six to eight feet out there, and what a perfect start to the event. Yesterday and today were pretty much the best ways I ever seen in my life. The most perfect and repable, and you have barrels, you have turns, you have whatever you want on the same wave. A big story from the first round was the comeback of 33-year-old Nathan Hedge of Australia. Hedgey, as he's known, first appeared at this event as a frothing grom as far back as 2001. His experience showed, and he nailed the first perfect 10 of the contest. I had an eight and a nine already, and I thought, well, do I leave some more in the tank? Do I show them more later, or do I just go for it? I said, today's the day. You can't ever live for another day. Today is, is all we have right now. So I just put the hammer down, and I'll connect with this place. So it's just a celebration to be back here. and It's amazing when the universe puts the waves on, we can do our thing. There was another standout moment in the first round when local youngster Matt Bromley paddled out in heat 15 and opened up with a set wave that allowed him to perform a combination of moves, including a deep barrel ride. This wave scored him a 9.47. It was just one of the many big scoring moments in the first round. Amazing. We're at Bay, one of the best points in the world, and it's firing. That was one of the best seats I've ever had. It's just so fun and just to relax and open up and surf like that. You don't get that very often, so this is good. Oh. Europeans would have something to shout about. Vasco Ribeiro of Portugal scored a perfect 10. I was pedaling, I wasn't really on the peak and I saw the big set coming, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pedal a little bit more to the left and try to get like the big one. And I saw that, I said, this is a perfect wave. I can't believe I'm surfing j Bay with three, two guys in the water and I have this wave just for me. So I just went and pushed the curve and then I saw the big session. I said, okay, I can't fall in the barrel. So I just, and I nearly fell, my foot came off. And then I just went, uh, best wave of my life. Lau's perfectly surfed wave earned him a 10. The Hawaiian was on a roll. I saw it coming in from the outside. I just saw the thing stretch all the way through. And I don't know, I was just, I wasn't really even looking for any barrels and I was just, I was just gonna do turns and I did my first turn and the thing stood up. I was like, oh, okay, that's one. And then I was just like, okay, just rack it all the way through again. And then did the next two turns and I came through and it like dropped out and I was like, oh, this thing, I can't even do anything else but get barreled. And I was super deep and it, I don't know, the whole time I was like, please make it out, please make it out. And then he just pushed me out. So I was just, I was so psyched. I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> can't believe I kept going that far. 